So, yeah, I, foolishly, when I, I, I came into the first group, which was free, I sort of figured well, these are these are guys who have spent nearly all their time being musicians, and they just they, they whipped this thing yeah. up like in about a week and a half. That's, and obviously, that's the laughably <coughs> right? the minute I thought about it. I mean, that's, 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 clearly, that's the Can you speak to it? Have you got you have direct hire employees that do nothing but commerce related things for two weeks a year? The question is basically. Um, what kind of capacity we have employees. Right now we have the four of us who do an awful lot of the work still. We have um, one person who is a full-time employee that really runs our, our customer service interfacing. And then we have a couple of contractors, like contracted companies, and I'd say about a half a dozen people who we have on a part-time basis, but that it's been ramping up and that's one of the things we think we'll be able to do, um, just depending on how things go, is to increase our capacity so that we're not doing as much of the work directly, and that as things get more complex, we can we can deliver more complex things. And a specific call out, uh, one of the, one of the many uh, things that we can't do this cruise without is is our Help the Monkey volunteer force, who have been run for pretty much the entire time uh, to varying degrees by Bob and Tara, who are sitting in the back there and do tremendous job in it. Is, is Anna here? I don't, I don't see her. No, Anna's asked not to get up until five minutes before the meeting. She and I have. Okay, this. yes. But, you know, if she were here, and let's recognize her anyway. The person, the full-time person, her name is Anna, and she is amazing. She is, um, she places everyone individually in each of their cabins and reads all of your requests, writes to you throughout the year. She really does care about, like, making this the best possible cruise. So we just want to make a good awesome. cruise. Just want to make a good cruise. Yeah, that's our mantra. Like, whenever we get in the weeds on something on a call and we we're in our 24th minute talking about what should be on the fez of the plush dolphin, one of us, usually Jonathan, will just sort of reset everything. Well, you guys, 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 I, I just want to make a good cruise. Usually I do it when we've started talking about stuff that I don't understand. Yeah. And I don't want to admit that I don't understand it. And they've asked my opinion and I haven't been listening for 20 minutes. <laughs> and and it, it's jokey, but it also, you know, it's it's worth bearing in mind. It's, you know, it's like, it's the it's the economy stupid sign of, of our meetings, basically, is we always have to just go back and, you know, will this help make the cruise better, or are we just complicating things for ourselves, or what? And, and that's always what we try to bear in mind with anything that we're making happen. 